Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Alan Wake. And we're going to get right into it because we're in a boss fight. <sighs> and I don't know how to beat it. It's Actually, I know how to beat it. It's just really, really ultra complicated. I pressed, I pressed the button to do something, and it didn't do anything. That thing needs to stop moving around. I can't fight them while it's there. I guess that's the point of a boss battle. But it sucks. Like, ultra sucks. Oh my gosh. Run, Alan. Run. Come on, come on. There you go. You know, I shot him point blank in the face and I saw him die, but you know, get right back up again and, and you know, just screw everything up. For the hundredth time, I know. Okay, come on. He's hit me twice, and I'm dead. How do I avoid it? There's nowhere to heal. You should have, like, a safe zone for me to go into. This is ridiculous. This, I hate this fight. <coughs> I'm getting choked up all about it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, enough. Bad level design. Either have a wider area or something. This is bad level design. And this is on normal.
My, oh my. Wow, this is annoying. I literally just want to stop playing the game because of this. What happened to the level design? Ow! No, 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 no. I run... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! My... Gosh, this is a bad fight. I'm sorry, but I like, I've died on other things in this game and I've not been that pissed off at this, at this game before, not as much. Is there a skip button? Because that's the, th the only thing saving this game right now is a freaking skip button. And every time I die, too, they don't even save it after the fight starts. I have to see this every single freaking time. I, I couldn't see. Damn. I am... Th sounded dumb the way I talked there. But I am getting pissed at this game. And it's only taken 10 minutes and 25 seconds for that to happen. And I've been playing this game for literally hours today. And it only took 10 minutes and like 34 seconds now. Thank you, you dang dirty ape as they call it.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Goodness. Oh my. That better have been like the final boss battle or something, cuz. Jeez. <clears throat> that was rough. Ouch, man. It took me 14 minutes just to beat that. this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. I swear, if it turns to nighttime again, just as we reach this area, I'm gonna be pissed. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Supposedly. But I'm pretty sure I've been playing this game right now. 
This is a place. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> I don't know where to stop for notes. Uh, not notes, but you know what I'm saying. I just turned around, didn't I? Be a shame to lose the only mode of transportation I have and have to run all the way there. at something. What? I don't really know. Oh, well, <clears throat> this is very nice. So I got a new car. Be taking that car when I leave. Oh, 
Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Oh, well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish, even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Okay. You didn't fall that far. Next stop, this place. Don't know if I'm going to find anything in any of these places, but I hope. Come on, go. See, that's what I'm looking for. For Mott, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. What a jerk. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. What if the wife had just been in the car? Okay, so we need to make a getaway. And I'm missing a door now. Close the only door that you have left to close.
With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Yeah. <clears throat> If you want to read that, you can pause. Thought there might be something down here. Sorry if you want me to read those, but... <clears throat> Here we go. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Great, and it's nighttime. Wake, where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Can we please Hello? kill him? Hello? <clears throat> uh, I'm going to kill him. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Okay. It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. That's nice. Big old caution sign. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Okay, so...
Okay. Just gonna move along. Nothing to see here. <clears throat> Come here. Gotta gotta get to a checkpoint before I can end the episode. Just in case anything happens and I can't record the next one, I don't want to not be at a checkpoint. I think I just wasted my last one, but it's fine. We're good. What the hell? Do you even want to know? Because I really, really don't want to know. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Checkpoint reached. I am just gonna end the video here and record the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>